Um, in healthcare, I feel like one issue that really hasn't been addressed very well um, is a kind of broadly defined medical error. Um, I think there's a lot of hospitals that are trying to do innovative things, but it costs money and at this point we don't have a system that really rewards them or recognizes them. Now is a great time for the legislature to look at uh, this sort of thing because under the Affordable Care Act, hospitals are going to start to be punished and rewarded a little bit with their Medicare payments uh, based on their medical error rates. So I think it makes sense to let all Minnesotans know how hospitals are doing on these things and aggregate it in a state report. So Minnesota has a strong history of environmental stewardship and leading the country in clean energy initiatives. Uh, but the state has failed to lay the policy groundwork needed to attract solar investments and jobs, to give people and businesses the power to manage their own electricity use loads. By changing the state's laws regarding third-party ownership, we can overcome those barriers and give people and businesses who invest in solar savings on their electricity bill from day one. We are, we are behind our goals for transit in greater Minnesota. I mean, we have, we, we have a, a spread out aging population in greater Minnesota that has lots of challenges to mobility. We want to make sure that the quality of life in greater Minnesota remains high. One refreshing way to look at getting jobs created getting projects underway and stimulating the economy is to look at how we might preserve great old buildings and great old main streets all across Minnesota. There are a lot of former bank buildings. Soon we will have a lot of former post offices. They need new uses. And that's a really important question. You know, how are our students learning? Right now, the way the former legislation stands indicates that student achievement is measured by a test score, when in fact what we should be doing is looking at how students learn. As a teacher, what I find most important is that I be measured by whether I'm actually helping my students learn. And I know that I'm helping them learn. There's authentic assessments every day that we do that help us uh, identify students who are struggling and help us help other students measure their success. And we need to be using those kind of measures that are fairer to the students that really show student learning by which we hold teachers accountable. <laughs> <laughs>